he was not in the thick of it, but Brian Cox, no stranger to our studio, did dominate all our screens as the brutal businessman Logan Roy in that epic drama, Succession, nominated for another gong, a BAFTA, just this week. But his latest project is on stage in another unhappy family saga alongside co-star Patricia Clarkson. I met them during rehearsals and asked why their new version of the American classic Long Day's Journey in Tonight is worth a watch today. Well, it's about dysfunctional families. <laughs> and uh, it seems to me that families since the 1950s have got even more dysfunctional. Oh, yes. <laughs> so I think that's one of the things it's very easy to identify with. I mean, it is. It's, it's about, you know, traumatized people, addiction, which everyone faces in their family, mm -hmm. many. Uh, love and forgiveness, which is sometimes the hardest emotions. Um, it was also a play that was extremely difficult for him to write. Mm -hmm. He was in a lot of pain when he wrote the play. And it was a late play. It was the second last play he ever wrote. But this play, he, apparently his wife used to say he would come out of his study and he'd just be weeping. He would just be in a terrible but state. But that's what we do all day. Yeah, we do that every day. I mean, yes. I, I, I cried <laughs> yesterday yeah. Yeah. for about eight hours. Yes, you did. No, no, I had a lunch break. Okay. You did. <laughs> I wasn't there. I missed the lunch break. I got the, I got the bit afterwards. <laughs> but it, it, it feels and terrible rehearsing it. Terrible to well, do it's, this it's, play. It's, you know, you've got to go there. You know, you can't cheat on it. And, uh, and this lady is right there. You know, she really does extraordinary work in it. And uh, no, you do. Thank you. Uh, right. There's no effort in saying that. Uh, and that's what's demanding. I mean, the, the play demands that you are, have to be totally truthful. As you say, it was a painful play for O'Neill to write. I think he said it was written in tears and blood. Yeah, it was. Mm. Oh, I yes. think literally yes. it was. What do you want people to take away from it, though? Because you don't want people to be made miserable, presumably, no. by watching the no, performance. I, just, I, I, we, I think it's the truth. You know, it, it, the great thing about the theatre is what we can do in the theatre, which is happening less and less in the world, particularly in politics, is telling the truth. Mm -hmm. And we are truth, you know, we are truth tellers, and that's the, that's the strength of the play, is its truth. It's and also, it, there's, it, there's quite a bit of humour oh, in yeah, this play. Yeah, yeah, and, and we are finding that you realise I've got him, gorgeous <laughs> him, and, and my two, our two beautiful sons, yeah. and they're Welsh and Irish, you know, we there's... There's a tremendous, there's, there, there are moments in this play that will lift you. Yeah. And you will fall again, but... No, it's, um, it's a roller coaster. It's a roller coaster. <laughs> but it's like, also what the theatre needs to be. Mm -hmm. It's not just a question of the fact that it is daunting and it's everything we talk about, yes. you know, in the, in the negative. But in the end of the day, it's actually an extremely positive experience because it's what the theatre needs and what the theatre wants. And that's why it probably is, you know, arguably to some, the greatest American play ever yes. written. It's interesting you say there it's what the theatre needs. Actually, in the last few weeks, we've talked to some of your fellow actors about what theatre should be. And Ray Fine said, for example, that you should get rid of trigger warnings because people should be shocked. People should be shocked. They should be involved. They should yeah, be tested. Absolutely. But in terms of the, the theatre and it demanding things of the audience, there is you know, sometimes concern, particularly in the West End, that too many just hugely famous people are sort of you know, dropped in to theatre in order to sell tickets. Um, and, you know, some people are happy to pay £300 to see Sarah Jessica Parker on the stage. Some people don't have £300 to spend on that. But there's a director, Jeremy O'Harris, the writer of Slave Play, has criticised the casting of celebrities in plays, saying it's a sort of Disneyfication well, it of it depends theater. what you mean by celebrities. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean it's, yeah. it's people who've earned their spurs as actors, yeah. you know. I mean, I mean I've... You know, I've done a fair amount over the years as a, as a, in yeah. the theatre. Sarah so Jessica she, Parker's done yeah. tremendous amounts of theatre. Yeah, you know, exactly. She's fabulous. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she it, should be starring in a play. Yeah, in it's End. a kind of nonsense in a way, you yeah. know. Celebrities, they don't even know what... Half the journalists don't know what the f*** they're talking about <laughs> most of the time, quite frankly. I wonder if any they really them. don't. They really don't. They Can just, you, you go, they make it up, you know. It's like easy copy, you know. Oh, yeah, celebrities. What does that mean? You know, they are hardworking actors who've earned their celebrity who, through what they've done over a number. I've been doing this for 60 years, for God's sake. And, and some of the celebrities that have maybe been dropped in, they've never done theatre. But what if they're really great? Mm -hmm. What if they're really capable? And surprising. What if they're capable and exceptional? And they've been given a chance and you see them do Shakespeare for the first time and it's illuminating. Yeah. Well, it's interesting, both of you for the last decade or so, most of your work has been not in the theatre. 
whether in film or on TV screens. What's it like being back? <laughs> I think it's difficult for Patty. I love it. <laughs> I think she finds it hard being back in the theatre. I was just here seven years ago. Well, you, you've been doing more theatre. All right. But um, I was here seven years ago. You were, that's true. Um, it's tough. It's, it's, it's rigorous. Um, yeah. I have more respect for theatre actors than anyone in the world. Uh, I, not that I don't admire um, television and, and movie actors, uh, but this is the work. This is where, this is the grind. You do have a reputation for being tough yourself. And uh, do we, I? we, I think well, I'm a pussycat. I think I'm a pussycat. <laughs> he kind of is for me. You are very pussycat. -ish. Well, Sarah Stook, we talked to recently, and she said a few weeks ago that sometimes on set you would have a, a rage, you would fly into rages, but she wasn't sure if they were real or no, not. No, they're all fake. I mean, that was all, that was that was to do to wake people up. You know, you've got to do that to wake people up because people become so kind of bland and so passe about what they're doing, you know, you, there's, a, there's a way of doing it by being so self-absorbed, but you've got to say, oh, say, wake up! I find him quite docile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being daunting to you. I think I've been very sweet. Oh, no, you've been, no, you've been lovely, very calming. Brian and Patricia, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.